If Melbourne and Spa got married and had a child, this is what it'd be. The result being probably the best track, as someone would say, in the world. You guessed it, it's Mount Panorama Barthurst in South East Australia. This circuit has got more undulations than any other circuit. It's got the fastest stretch of road. It's got the most exciting corners. And just everything about it is just fantastic. It's even a public road outside of racing day. On this track of just over 6,200 kilometres, you'll get used to the names of the corners, the different sections on the track, and the likely speed you're going to reach. I'm going to be using a GTR Nissan, similar to the one that was used uh, for the recent win at the Bar First 12 hour. So the start of our flying lap, we're heading along Main Street. You need to get to the right hand side and brake just when the fences go from red to blue. Accelerate across the left apex of Hell Corner and just clip in the right hand apex as you're still accelerating through onto Mountain Straight. On Mountain Straight you should get up to a top speed of around about 175 before you see a red tractor on the left hand side that's your braking point for Griffin's Bend. At Griffin's Bend accelerate across both apexes and on up the hill. This is the start of the climb up the mountain. Reaching speeds of around about 135 before you come to the sharp corner called the cutting. Brake just as it turns left and accelerate up the hill going up towards Reed Park. Accelerating up past Reed Park, briefly come off and back on the gas as you go across Frog Hollow. The same process of off and on the gas really quickly is at both Salmon Park and McPhillamy Park. Nearly at the top of the mountain now, approaching Skyline. Speeds around about 175 miles an hour and stand on your brakes just before you get to the sign. Make sure the car is pointing slightly to the right. It looks like it goes straight on, but it actually goes slightly to the right first. This is the start of the S's. Stay on the brakes until you go past the orange sticking out barrier. Come off of the brakes as you go through the dipper and accelerate again as you come out the other side of the dipper. Stand on the brakes again, just prior to the road going to the right and the left at the forest elbow. Take this corner as quick as you can, hugging the left hand apex to get the best acceleration you can for the longest, fastest stretch on the whole circuit. Get to the right hand side and you'll probably be reaching in this car just over 200 mile an hour. You'll be standing on the brakes, cutting across both apexes down to about 100 mile an hour before accelerating again across both apexes on and under the bridge you need to then get onto the right hand side of the road get ready for Murray's corner braking at just on the end of the trees on the right hand side take Murray's corner across both apexes and accelerate across the finish line 